At Warwick Hills Country Club in Grand Blank, the Ally Challenge presented by McLaren is having an outstanding show. And for this, behind me, the 17th green, the hole that started it all, all the craziness, enthusiasm on the PGA Tour. It was in full force during the Buick Open many years ago. And with Dirks Bentley, Henrik Zetterberg, Kid Rock, and the immortal Jack Nicholas, they have brought this alive as this whole walk, and with all the other holes that they walked, 10 through 18, raised $25,000 for charity. Uh, just the great weather and all the people and all the volunteers. It's been great. Would you be here if Kid Rock and Dirk show? Yes, we'd be here anyway. So, what's the deal? With, you didn't even know there were $2 beers? I did not. They asked me when I ordered a beer, would you like the $2 beer? And I said, no, thank you. I want this Miller Lite. It sounded to me like you paid too much. I did. I paid a lot of money to be here. But I'm loving it. Now you have beer Yeah, of course. No, White Claw. I have White Claw face. PGA Tour players still talk about what Warwick Hills used to be with all the fans. It's being rebuilt up and 2000 winner Rocco Mediate says he absolutely loves this hole and the entire golf scene at Warwick Hills. 17 is good and they set it up beautiful this year, like a little shorter. People around it, beers if you make a, make a two, they get beers for 17 minutes for two bucks. It's priceless. So um, I've helped them the last two days with two, so they, so they really like me now. Country music superstar Dirk Bentley said that while Phoenix is still king for craziness and fans, he said Warwick Hills is not far behind. Uh, the 16th at Phoenix Open is the craziest I've ever been at, but this, they're, what they're building here is unbelievable. This is like the 17th, 18th here, you can tell this is something that's going to become a whole new, like, deal in golf. It feels great. Miking people up is a good idea. I think that's a relatively new thing and it's like you can already tell it's going to become like a favorite stop for fans because it just has that party vibe and it feels pretty good. For Michigan Golf Scene, this is Roy J. Akers reporting.